and good morning you are with me today to go to another charity event it's called star hill gallery arts festival from the 1st of july to the 30th of september and uh, this charity event is involving me doing um, uh, a starfish making the best look out of a starfish and it's gonna go to charity on the 30th someone is gonna they're gonna auction it and then someone is gonna raise funds on it so take a look today because we are going to the press conference see you in a bit hello I am here at Star Hill this is what I'm talking about this is the reef starfish that I was doing take a look That's my collection, and this is called diving. <laughs> my one and only first collection. Well, this is gonna go to charity, so hopefully, uh, someone is gonna put a lot of money on it. On the 30th of September, we're gonna have a um, dinner. I'll show you more reefs or oh, starfish. This is someone's uh, starfish, Mr. Ng Te, an artist. It's called Family. And there's more here. And here are all the press that come for the press conference. And this is Mr. Julian. He's very shy. <laughs> He's very shy. Go away, he says. Okay, we're going to do the press conference soon, so I'm going to show you more starfish. <laughs> Uh, she's taken an interest in the work we do uh, and she helps to raise awareness of the program, uh, helps to bring attention to the issues facing coral reef. Being an artist, she's creative, so she's done the starfish instead of me because I'm not a creative person. I, I leave the creative stuff to other people. So um, we've also been working with, with YTL now for about three years. They've been sponsoring our work for about three years. Uh, we started in 2008, so this is the third year. And with the funds that they've given us, we've been able to spin out training programs for divers, not only in Peninsula Malaysia, but also in East Malaysia. So we've been able to expand the network of dive operators that we work with. Um, so that instead of me having to go to all of these places to do surveys, we can use local people. Uh, and the advantage of using local people, of course, is that you then get local interest. I mean, if I go to an island, I do the surveys, and I come back to KL, there's no no, nothing left on the island itself. But if the island people get involved in it, the resort people get involved in it, and they start to take ownership, and they get much more involved in the understanding what the problems are, and they get much more involved in actually solving some of those problems. So getting out onto the islands and getting people on. lovely creations isn't that lovely look at this pretty one so everybody has created their own uh, version of how a starfish looks like underwater and how we should uh, create more awareness um, and help to save our starfishes. Look at this one. This is created by Sabrina Young. Uh, it says here, Ocean Cup Updates. It's a goal for Wayne Starry. David Baxter is a new spokesperson for Sparkly Shoes. Ronaldo Star Spark given the red card. That's so cute. The humans are in danger of extinction. That's really cool. Even the starfish has got a little socks. But the color is white so it's been bleached so you know everyone has got their own creation and it's very interesting this is one of my favorites look at that isn't that beautiful it looks like a peacock 